Hello everybody, this is John at FSD Unsupervised, and we're about to take the first drive in FSD version 13.2.7, newest update that everybody's getting now. I'm going to go ahead and start the drive. Before I start talking about the new version, I'd like to just give a shout out, thank you to all the followers on X. All the subscribers on YouTube, I just really appreciate everybody. Uh, if you want to know a little bit more, uh, definitely follow on X. Uh, that's where I do most of my stuff. I do have all of the videos going to YouTube, but there's extra little tidbits, information, and things like that that I, I give out on X. So please follow me there as well. Um, Version, version uh, FSD version 13.2.6 was the previous one that I had. I only had it for a little over a week. Um, probably just under 200 miles of driving on it. I have to tell you, I was not a big fan. Um, lots of accelerator pushes just to get started uh, in the parking lot there. Um, always had to push the accelerator to get it started. It was kind of crazy that there were so many accelerator pushes that I never had to do on the older version. Um, now that I have 13.2.7, that's gone. Another thing in 13.2.6 was a lot of slowdowns. Uh, street by us, 60 miles per hour. Every once in a while, it just decided that 48 was what it wanted to do, and I would push the accelerator. We would get up to 60 miles an hour, I'd release the accelerator, and we would slow down to 48 miles per hour. Um, just wasn't understanding how that was working, even though it's showing you the 60 mile an hour speed limit, and it's always done that perfect before, just started to do 48 there for some reason. Don't know why. Uh, had a couple of other issues with it that I didn't care for. Um, they seem like navigation issues i don't know if it's navigation or the car was trying to do something that it couldn't do um but i would go into a center lane like where this white tesla is parked and it would turn on the left turn signal to make a left turn there um i obviously disengaged when that happened but i would have to go forward turn around start FSD again and then each time it worked great from there but uh, definitely not my favorite version now on 13.2.7 I just recently got that it was two days ago and Kathy had to have some surgery done she had hernia surgery done so um, took her to the surgery center drove there perfectly it actually parked in a space i'm sorry but she didn't want any video during that time um but it actually parked in a space it was not over the lines it was parked perfectly in a space first time that it just parked perfectly in a space for me most of the time when it parks it's either in a handicap space or uh over lines taking up two lines um the only way that i see it actually parking really well is a supercharger stop uh, that is not something that's in these updates parking yet uh, that shows that it's going to be in an upcoming release so i'm not worried about that one bit um, but 13.2.7 is back to being this drives like me um, with all those close to 200 miles of driving yesterday that i had no accelerator pushes no speed problems, no issues. It just worked like it was working on 13.2.2 for me. Uh, or actually, I'm sorry, 13.2.2.1 for me. Um, I was on a different branch and I don't exactly know how these branches work exactly. So um, it was just a one step up from 2.2. And I can really not tell any difference between the two because I had 2.2 for a minute. Um, it seemed like I got 2.2 and then the next day I got 2.1 or 2.2.1. All these branches are confusing. But 13.2.7 is just doing a great job. 
it's back to being as good or better than 13.2.2 branch. The one thing that I did notice right away, and I said this right away as soon as we got on the highway and I, we had to slow down, is like it is even slowing down better than it was before. And what I mean by that is that usually it would wait to see brake lights in front of us if we have slow traffic in front of us. It would actually wait for brake lights, then it would start the slowdown. Now what's happening that I can tell is that it's seeing cars are slower in the lane already and it is actually not, you know, releasing accelerator where you feel the braking, but just calmly and slowly coming down in speed limit. Um, that happened this morning when I was driving to work. Um, it happened all day yesterday. I had to get on the highway here five times yesterday to go to the different places. I had to get prescriptions and then she wanted some soup. So I went out and got that, but it always worked perfectly. And now I get this 13.2.7 and I can go, wow, this is better than the last version. This is, this is better than what I was saying is ready for cyber cab. Now, all of a sudden it's better than it was. So now I definitely think it's going to be ready for cyber cab. Um, this thing pulls up in front of each one of the places and like one time it parked every other time it just dropped me off in front of the building just like a cyber cab would right in front of the front doors or sometimes it just goes past those front doors if they got the yellow lines in front it would go past the yellow lines and then stop right past the yellow lines and, and drop me off um, so basically just parking but you saw on this trip I just pressed the button that's all I'm gonna have to do on this trip. It's gonna take me all the way down to um, my complex where I live, my uh, my little HOA that I live in. It's gonna take me all the way there. Um, I usually stop the videos before I get into my complex and I'm probably gonna do that again. But you can see how smoothly this thing is changing lanes. That that lane change to get around somebody, go back in, get around somebody. It's just exactly how I do it. And I don't know how to describe it any better than that. It's just doing what, what is natural. And that's the best thing about this system is that it doesn't feel like a robot is driving me, even though my robot car is driving me. It feels like a human's doing it, but even better than a human because it stays within the lanes. When I'm passing somebody, just like that van on the right-hand side, it moved over just a little bit in the lane to the left when I was passing him on the right. When I pass people on the right-hand side, it moves a little bit over to the right-hand side lane just to give me a little bit of distance. Um, it's also doing a better job of merging into traffic you can actually feel that the car is like determining how fast the cars in front are going. Are you gonna be able to get in front of whichever car so you can like go in between this truck on the right hand side and the Chrysler 300? Is that enough room? It gauges this so perfectly and slides so seamlessly into the lane now. It's better than, better than I can do it. The accelerations are better. The decelerations are better than I can do it. When I excel, I can't do the 1%, 2%, 3%, 4% excel. When I hit the accelerator pedal, I'm probably doing 5 or 10% at one time. And you feel that jerk. You feel the the jerk of the car actually go forward by the, by the torque of those motors. Um, when I slow down... I'm releasing quicker than this can release. This can release the same way. So I get the big break from the from the regen braking where this just gets small little braking. It's just so much smoother than what I can actually do. So now I'm calling this even better than humans can drive. And I think this is pretty much the point of it is that we want it better than humans can drive to save more lives. That's, that's like the name of this game. That's the reason why I want to do this. Um, the reason why, you know, I decided that this channel was going to be called FSD Unsupervised is because 
That's the goal. We want this to be unsupervised, full self-driving. That's what we need. That's what the world needs. I mean, how many countless lives are going to be saved? I think it's like 36,000 or 46,000 people a year die in the United States from car crashes. Uh, it's just amazing. We don't need that kind of stuff on the road anymore. All of these people driving in the cars around us that don't have FSD, you Tesla drivers out there that aren't using FSD, I just have to question why. Um, me using FSD and supervising everything that's going on on the road is way safer than me driving by myself. If I'm driving, paying attention to what I have to do to steer and brake and excel, and I can look out the front and I can see this, this amount of room, I, I can't see like the cameras see. I can't tell that that person coming up behind me is going so fast. I can't tell that somebody's weaving in and out of traffic behind me. If I'm making a turn into another lane, I have to make sure, take my eyes off the front, make sure that there's not a car that's speeding down to the right-hand side of the lane that I'm gonna, you know, possibly get into an accident with. And when I'm taking my eyes off of that, I don't see in front of me. So if somebody's breaking in front of me, then I got problems breaking in front of me. Um, I can't do all that like the computer can do all that, like the cameras can do all that. I'm just not that fast with it. So there's no way that I could be as good as this driver can. And with me supervising, that's two extra sets of eyes. And I can actually see, okay, everything in front of me is clear. I can use something else go to a different angle, look at my mirrors, look at anything that I want to see to make sure that everything else around me is going well too. Um, it's just one of those things where, you know, its eyes and my eyes are just better than anything else that anybody can have. Um, you can see now we're going to get off at this intersection. It's trying to get behind this truck now, um, garbage truck now. It had a long line of cars that had just passed. You obviously saw that long line of cars. It just kept going and going and going until I figured out, okay, this is enough. I need to get in. And it smoothly goes into the right-hand lane. I wasn't even worried about it. I know that it's going to do it well. Um, I am never scared about emerging in traffic now because literally it does it better than I do it. It does it better than Kathy does it. Um, the, the robot is just a better driver than we are now and that's exactly what we need exactly what we need all right tesla fsd 13.2.7 if you're driving a tesla make sure that you subscribe or purchase fsd it's the safest way to drive if you're not driving a tesla first of all i apologize i'm so sorry that you're not driving a tesla because it's the best car on the road but get yourself a tesla and i highly suggest that if you're going to keep your car for four years or longer that you just buy fsd unsupervised because that's what i'm going to call this one pretty soon um in june there's a cyber cab event okay we'll call it a robo taxi event because we don't know if cyber cabs are going to be there or not but in austin they're supposed to set a autonomous driving service up and we are believing that cyber cabs are going to be part of the mix and we are believing that model y's are going to be part of the mix so tesla's going to run unsupervised fsd in austin in june and everybody's got to be pretty excited about that but before we get there everybody go buy yourself a tesla um my stoplight is the next one up here so i'm going to end this video now and say again thank you very very much for following me on x thank you for subscribing on youtube and we'll see you later